Before we talk medications, let's talk about um, herbal supplements, dietary supplements, and how they can be used to treat um, insomnia and sleep disorders. And there's a number of them. The, the course packet lists three of them. Kava is the first one. Uh, many people use kava, or kava kava as it's sometimes labeled, but there is no proven evidence that it actually helps with sleep, and in fact, there's a, there's a risk for severe liver damage. Um, and after the, after the FDA reported that the severe liver damage um, can occur from kava kava, um, funding from um, the NIH was stopped for any further research. So my gut feeling is this is not the best choice. Valerian root um, suggests that it's generally safe to use for short periods of time, four to six weeks. There's no evidence over long-term safety of using valerian root. It may uh, help in, uh, in, in treating insomnia, <clears throat> but there's really not enough evidence to prove that. There are some side effects. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, tiredness in the morning, so a hangover effect, headache, dizziness, upset stomach. So this is a medicate. This is a, a dietary supplement that may be helpful, may not be helpful. Does not have a lot of side effects, but it would you would have to see if it works for you. But there is very limited research to, to indicate much of anything other than short-term use, it appears safe. How about lavender? People grow lavender in their gardens. Lavender is used in a lot of different ways. Um, it's used for um, antiseptic and mental health purposes in, in, in distant history. Uh, today it's used in folk and traditional remedies for anxiety and restlessness, insomnia, depression, headache. Um, um, a whole list of uses, including hair loss. There's very little scientific evidence that shows it's effective for most uses. Um, and the small studies that have been done have mixed results. <clears throat> Some preliminary, result, preliminary results show that the lavender oil, when combined with other oils, may help with hair loss from um, alopecia areata. It's commonly used as an aromatherapy, and that's considered safe. Uh, applying oil to the skin can cause irritation. And um, some, some reports show that topical use can cause breast growth in young boys. It's poisonous taken by mouth, the oil. But the teas and extracts uh, can cause headache, changes in appetite, and constipation. Um, it can increase the effect of sedatives but in and of itself is not a sedative. So taking lavender for sleep is not generally proven to be effective. When you come back, we will start talking about specific medications, the sedatives and hypnotics for, to promote sleep. I just wanted to give you an a overview of some of the herbal treatments for, um, for sleep disorders.